G'day YouTube and welcome back to Perfecting Pete. So we're going to do something a little different uh, for this episode. I know it's been a few weeks since I last broadcast and it's going to be a few more weeks until my next one, which kind of sucks. Um, <clears throat> but it's for a good reason on a personal level. Uh, I'm shipping off to Washington DC for a couple of weeks uh, in a week and a half's time for work. So. It's not exactly a holiday, um, although it is a conference, so there'll be plenty of consumption of alcohol because that's what we're there to do, entertain our clients. Um, but it has meant that schedule's been a little bit crazy in the lead up and, um, you know, obviously I'm gonna be gone for a couple of weeks, so I probably won't be putting up anything on YouTube unless I record something on my phone that seems relevant and throw it up. Anyway, so I digress. So we're going to do something a little bit different this week. Rather than talk about a predetermined topic uh, as I usually would or do a review or anything like that, where I'm actually going to, ex to respond to a comment that was thrown up on one of my YouTube videos, the Science Base Six Pack Review. Now, you know, it's it's been a real delight um, to, to watch, you know, the start of a little bit of community uh, on my YouTube channel. People are throwing comments up, people who've lost, you know, there was someone who threw up something, yes, uh, uh, in the last few days that he'd lost 91 pounds, which is a humongous effort. Um, you know, he's got a bit to go, but you know, he's halfway there and, and you know, 91 pounds is, or 50 kilos is a massive effort and a massive achievement. So congrats to him. <clears throat> Thankfully, I haven't had too many uh, negative comments. I've had plenty of down votes on Science Base Six Pack uh, on my review because I wasn't exactly, um, you know, all positive about my feedback, but I have promised this channel that there'd be no bullshit on this channel. So, you know, if I see something that I don't think uh, is conducive to, to weight loss, then I'm going to call it out. Um, but in this case, I did have a bit of a negative comment. I didn't, it didn't really sit well with me. And I thought rather than respond in the comments, you know, this is kind of a bigger topic than just a couple of, couple of lines of text. So I'm going to address that here. Um, before we get into that though, if this is your first time watching, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, I release videos on a regular basis about my weight loss journey and all the tips and tricks I pick up along the way. Um, primarily, you know, for two purposes. First of all, to document my only my own journey through weight loss. Um, so, uh, you know, I've lost, what, 25, 22 to 25 kilos or, or 50 to 60 pounds. It's about 60 pounds. I've since stabilized. I sit in around um, 90, uh, 90 kilos. Um, and I haven't moved for a while. That's because I've kind of taken uh, a bit of a back seat uh, in terms of my weight loss journey to, you know, rushing around with work. I'm, I'm working, you know, 100 hour odd weeks. So I haven't had a, a two day weekend since February. So it's, it's kind of been a bit crazy, but I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I'm still staying active. I'm still eating well. Uh, I'm just not pursuing weight loss right now. Um, but I am still very much participating in, in the whole community uh, of, of weight loss. So, um, you know, and I'm still throwing these videos up. So if this is your first time joining me, uh, please hit that like button if you've got any use out of this video. Uh, subscribe for regular videos. Drop me a comment. I do read them all. I certainly reply to, to all of them, actually. Uh, and if you're on social media and prefer to, to, to uh, kind of watch me there, uh, both my Facebook and my Instagram channels are identical. So pick one or the other uh, and I'll throw the links up in a sec. So without further ado, let's start with the comment. Now I'm not going to name the guy. This isn't actually about the comment. Sorry, it's not about the person that made the comment. It's about the comment itself. So I will read out the comment that he left on my science based six pack review, review video. He started by saying, why not just extend your bloody fast forever, therefore maximizing fat loss to the point where you burn off all your fat and then die. So that's what he left on my YouTube, um, on a video on YouTube. Now, you know, there's plenty of internet trolls. I've been luckily, lucky enough not to get any of them so far. Um, mainly because this channel, I, I'm not selling anything. I'm not, you know, really it's just about documenting my, my journey and, and, and hoping to motivate others on their weight loss journey. Um, so it doesn't tend to attract too much criticism, I guess. Uh, I guess I've been lucky, but yeah, you know, I wasn't really sure how to take that comment. So I kind of just said, what do you mean? And, um, and his response was perfectly bloody obvious, buddy. Weight loss equals eat fewer calories, exercise more. This modern fast crap is bull crap. There are a million and one scams and crazy methods which just take gullible people's money. Do exercise, eat fewer calories, simple. Simple in all caps. 
So that was the comment. Now, you know, in terms of my response, first and foremost, that type of thing is not what this channel is about. You know, maybe you should leave your comments. Oh, sorry, I won't address you directly. Maybe a person like that with that kind of view should address their comments at one of the YouTube channels, the millions of YouTube channels that are that are actually running a scam, that are trying to take gullible people's money, that accept you know cash for comment or whatever. Um, my channel is about supporting people through their weight loss journey and, and documenting my own. I'm not selling anything. Uh, I'm not here to oversimplify people's challenges. I'm here to, to encourage people to do whatever they need to do to, to lose weight. So I don't really see the consistency between the comment that he left and the channel itself. It's, it's not what I'm here for. So, you know, it kind of seems like an inappropriate place to leave the, the comment, particularly given it was on the back of a video where I wasn't exactly positive about um, the, the for sale weight loss program that I was reviewing. In any case, in, in terms of actually, you know, responding to the comment that was left, he is right. In an in a oversimplified, really reductive way, if you want to lose weight, eat less calories and exercise more. However, um, you know, we've talked about the importance of tracking macros because whilst it is true if you just stuck to a 1200 calorie a day diet, if you were 100 kilos or, or 200 pounds or 250 pounds, you would lose weight, absolutely. I don't know if it's the healthiest, most sustainable way to do it. And I think just a, a, a comment, eat less calories and exercise more, I'm not sure that leads to a sustainable lifestyle change because it doesn't encourage you to get a better relationship with food. And that's really what this is all about. You know, I keep saying um, that, that uh, weight loss is about 70% in the kitchen and 30% in the gym. So, you know, if you don't have a good relationship with food, if, if you don't have a solid understanding of what you're eating, not just in terms of calorie content, but what good calories are out there in terms of whole foods versus refined sugar-based crap, you know, you could eat 1200 calories of gummy bears. You probably would lo lose weight over time. You'd probably end up in hospital quite ill. You know, there's more to it than just eating fewer calories. Um, the other thing I would say is, if it was simple, if it was as simple as what he said, the way that he said it, eat less calories, exercise more, if it was simple, then we wouldn't be in a period of time where we are turning out more obesity than in human history. We wouldn't have uh, obese children, we wouldn't have mortality rates higher in, in terms of obesity related illnesses than in any other, than, than you know, lung cancer from smoking. You know, the, the, the amount of deaths relating to obesity are astronomical. Um, the, the, the percentage of, of people who are obese in Western cultures like America and Australia um, is higher than ever. So I think if it was simple, then we wouldn't have obesity. I don't think many people walk around, you know, certainly people that are coming to this channel, most people don't walk around saying, I'm happy to be um, so overweight that my health is at major risk, that I have trouble walking up a set of stairs without gasping for breath. Um, you know, and all the, all of the other negative things that go along with, with people who want to lose weight. Um, I'm certainly not fat shaming. Um, that's totally not what this channel is about. It couldn't be further from the truth, but the reality is if you're on this channel talking about wanting to lose weight, then you, you've accepted that you want to lose weight for, for whatever reason. Uh, and I don't think it's simple to lose weight if you don't understand why you're heavy to start with and what you need to do to make a sustainable long-term change to your lifestyle to lose that weight. So I would argue that it's not simple. Um, you, you know, there are plenty of people running scams and taking gullible people's money. There's loads of them. That's why when I did the review on Science Based Six Pack, that's why when I do reviews of anything else that I review, like low quality supplements, I give a balanced perspective. I talk about the good and the bad. In the case of Science Based Six Pack, and I'll link the video again now, um, you know, I did say that if you were just looking for a program where you blindly follow the instructions and you lose weight, then you will lose weight. I did not say that it was good value for money. I did not recommend the program for anybody out there who wants to lose weight. Um, you know, I did say that you'd save money um, by going and doing your own research into intermittent fasting, potentially time under tension training. So, you know, I don't actually disagree. Um, there are so many scams out there that the market for preying on people who want to lose weight, who are vulnerable, who are in a bad position, um, you know, often 
uh, obesity is linked to depression. You know, th these are people that need support and help and motivation. That's what this channel is about. Um, you know, there are many, many scams out there. That's why when I see bullshit, I call bullshit on this channel. The only other thing I wanted to address is this idea that, that fasting is modern. Now, there are lots of crash diets and fad diets that are relatively modern. Um, I'm sure dieting's been going on for a long, long, long time, but the, the kinds of diets that we talk about at the moment, particularly on YouTube and you know in, in present media, um, they are new fad or crash diets or sustainable changes to your lifestyle, one of the two. Now, if I look at the concept of modern fasting, I kind of have to challenge the word modern when you talk about fasting specifically. So, and I am I am reading off some notes because I don't memorize numbers very easily, but if we go back to pre-19, sorry, pre-1878 when breakfast cereal was first invented and marketed to Americans by a fellow named Kellogg's, we ate a large meal around noon that we called dinner, which is the derivative of, of a French word that literally means to break your fast. So most people didn't start eating in their day until around midday, uh, and they would call that dinner. And then in the evening before, before bedtime, they would have a light snack called supper. Now, I know the words have changed since and dinner is generally referred to, certainly in, in where I am from uh, and, and in my upbringing, dinner referred to the big heavy meal at the end of the day before bed. But if you go back a couple of hundred years, you're talking about having a large meal at noon and a light snack before dinner. Now, if you went to bed and you know around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m., if you had your light snack at around eight, then by the time midday rolls around the next day, you're actually fasting for 16 hours, which is exactly what in a minute fasting encourages you to encourages you to do unless you're on a longer fast. Now I'm on a 20 hour fast and four hour eating window, but I started with 16, eight because that's the general advice that says that the minimum amount of time for fasting to get real benefits is about 16 hours a day. So I don't know that you could call in a minute fasting modern given that, you know, people were fasting 200, 300 years ago. Now, if we go back further, and, and I'm going a little bit silly, I, I, I grant you, but if you go even further back, you know, Homo sapiens, the, the human race evolved, um, you know, a couple hundred thousand years ago was the oldest Homo sapiens that, that we've identified. So we're talking 200,000 years of evolution. We, we know that we were hunter gatherers. We would send the women out and I'm not, not advocating anything by saying this is, this is just information that we've been provided about, you know, ancient civilizations and, and ancient mankind. Um, women would go out and, and gather fruit and nuts and berries and those sorts of things. And the men would go out and hunt, um, you know, prey, would kill prey, bring it back to the, to, to the cave or the camp and they would eat. Now, I don't feel that that happened, you know, three times a day. I don't think the guys got up early in the morning and went out and killed some sort of saber toothed tiger or whatever first thing in the morning and gave everyone breakfast. I don't think they went back out a few hours later to kill something else and brought it back for lunch. And I certainly don't think they went out a third time in the day and killed something and brought it back for dinner. So this concept that, we've, that we eat three meals a day is a relatively modern concept. Before that, you know, if you go back to cavemen times or back through our evolution, we weren't eating all that often. And in fact, if you think about it, that's almost certainly why we evolved a mechanism to allow us to burn fat as a secondary source of, of energy, because we needed to be able to survive for long periods of time and, and not just survive, but also work at optimal efficiency in order to go out and hunt on an, on an empty stomach. We needed to be able to burn enough energy in our body after not eating for an extended period of time so that we could go out there, be in optimum um, shape to hunt, to kill, to eat again. So, you know, the concept of, of intermittent fasting is really a reflection of our biology, which in itself is a reflection of our evolution, how we evolved to survive. Now, if you wanna talk about modern, let's talk about sugar. Now, again, I'll link the video that I did not too long ago about fat is not the enemy. And I did talk about carbohydrates and specifically refined sugar being the enemy. That's a modern problem. That's a modern concept. You know, sugar's been refined from natural sources like cane for at least 10,000 years. That's not new. The concept of sugar isn't new. 
What is relatively new is the high fructose corn syrup shit we put in refined food and soda at the moment. You know, that, that's, uh, that, that was invented around mid to late 1950s. If you want to talk about modern, that's modern. The propensity for foods that we walk into a supermarket and buy uh, and consume containing high fructose, so highly refined crap, sugar, empty carbohydrates, that's modern. Not the concept of fasting. So, um, you know, I, I, going back to, to what I said before, really this channel is about building a comprehensive underst understanding and, and building a solid and positive relationship with food. If you wanna lose weight, what you need to do is understand how the body works, understand how you work, and adjust how you work to, to align with weight loss. That means making sustainable changes. Now I'm a big advocate for intermittent fasting because I have seen that it does accelerate weight loss in comparison to just eating. You know, if I eat 1400 calories a day, um, which is what I'm doing now, I won't really lose all that much weight all that quickly. If I eat that same 1400 calories a day in a balanced approach in terms of my macros, while fasting for 20 hours a day, I'm actually eating the same calories, I'm exercising the same amount, but I'm getting a much more rapid, efficient, and sustainable weight loss achievement. So, you know, I, I would say, again, do exercise, eat fewer calories, simple. That is absolutely not true. And uh, if that's the way you think and it works for you, then fill your boots. You've got a right to your own opinion, but this probably isn't the right channel for you because there wouldn't be a need for a YouTube channel to talk about and support and motivate people on their weight loss journey if it was simple like you say. That's all I got time for today. Um, you know, I didn't want that to be too negative and hopefully you feel like it was a bit of a balanced response, but you know, I think it's important for people to understand that there are always gonna be others out there who oversimplify, who, you know, if you walked up to somebody who had, you know, made a champion effort to lose 150 kilos, who'd gone from morbid obesity, you know, look, staring down the barrel of, of you know, early early death due to, you know, type two diabetes, due to heart disease, due to all the other complications that come with being obese, that has managed to throw off the mantle of feeling like a social pariah, who finally feels proud about themselves, their body, um, you know, they're, they're motivated, their depression is, is in check. Um, you know, someone who's really gone through the ringer in terms of a weight loss journey, and you turned around to them and you said, yeah, and all you had to do was exercise more and eat less calories, none of this modern bullshit fasting. It's simple. I really think that would take something away from the effort most people will put into to losing weight in a sustainable way. And, and that's really not what this channel's about. So hopefully you, got, you did get some use out of it um, and you felt my, my response was balanced. Who knows? Um, if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see regular videos from me, then please hit that sub subscribe button. Check me out on Instagram or Facebook. I'll throw the links up. Leave me a comment. I will reply to them all. And I will see you. I'm going to try and release a video before I go away. No promises. I've, to be honest, work's got to take priority and it's been a priority for, for way too long lately. Um, my next video, I really wanted to do something on the, on the psychi psychology of overeating. Um, you know, as a, in relation to the last video I did in terms of, of uh, motivation for weight loss. Um, so that's, that's kind of what I'm planning to do next. Um, so keep an eye on the channel if you want to see that. And I'll see you in a few weeks, uh, if not when I get back from Washington. Until then, take care. Thanks for watching.